So yo, 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 what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing some suck up. Y'all say hey if y'all on the Twitch catching this live. Be sure to catch me live every Friday and Saturday on Twitch. I am live every Friday and Saturday for a good midday part chunk of the day type shit. You know, you can catch me around from like 12 to 3.30. That's usually when I'm starting my stream. But let's, let's get into some of this suck up real quick. Let's see how many people we can suck up in this neighborhood today. All right, let's see if they, they even want me to suck up any people. The game is always <laughs> glitching out. Never know why. Like, for some reason, I can't see my mouse. Like, I literally just logged into my account. Like, the fact that y'all are making me log in again is crazy. I just logged into this account. Like, God damn it, bitch. Come on. Let me fucking play. Like, is it that hard? I didn't think it was that difficult. All right, there we go. Money at all. I won't leave a breadcrumb. Throw the nigga said some. Like, why is my mouse disappearing? Like, am I tweaking? We're gonna exit this out and come back in. Clearly something is not going right. All right, yes I would. Open that bitch up. Open that bitch up like a mash pit. Let's see if it actually loads this time. I don't know what them robots doing in the in the back, but they they tweaking back there. All right, bet we back in our hometown. Is our sound still here? Is where's my sound at? I don't like that. Am I crazy? I don't have any sound. No. No. Sure, my shit is still on my headphones. Trying to play some suck up. It was working, but I'm like, where's the volume? Or maybe I should have just talked to somebody and saw. But I didn't hear no volume, so I'm like, or I didn't hear no sound, so I'm like, this, this not right. Something not right. Let me just do a new game and see if that <laughs> if that does anything. Actually, I don't know. I don't think we're playing the same game. We're playing. We're just taking. Uh, All right, maybe I. I don't know. Let me go talk to these. Oh fuck! I forgot. Hey, yo, what's crack a lagging, my dude? Looking fresh in that construction swag. How can I help you? Hey, nothing's going my... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. I got to restart, bro. I can't even fucking talk right now. This show's actually so bad. What's crack a lagging, little swipe? Yeah, you know, I just got done with a rave. I see you got them school headphones on. What are you listening to right now? I just want to know why the volume is so low on this. Hold on. Can I pause this? 
Oh snap, you caught me grooving to some fire beats. Currently vibing to my latest track, Concrete Jungle. It's straight up fire, my dude. Wanna hear a snippet? Do I wanna? Play them tunes now, man. I'm ready to turn up. Let's rave. Oh, you're down to party? Let's get it. Check out this sick drop from Concrete Jungle. Oh, I'm like, am I tweaking? Yeah, sure, invite me in. I'm ready to bust some moves, dude. I'm trying to figure out if I'm tweaking, because, like, why the fuck is the volume so low? I think I need to go to my settings after I suck his veins. After I suck his blood. That's the right suck his blood. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Let me suck your blood. Let me suck your blood. Give me your blood. Now, now the sound want to come back. Like, what the fuck? No, immortality takes their lives. Give me your blood. I want this, I want this, I want this. Uh, I guess I'll take care of Oh, fuck. Damn it. Damn it. I forgot shift does that. I, I got like shift on standby over here. All right, let's go to the next house. Let's see who we got over here. Uh, what's your deal? You better not be here to sell me on some newfangled gadget or convince me to join your latest tech cult. Girl, Raven, you know I'd never come over here and do that. You know I just gotta keep up with the latest technology and stuff. How you doing though, girl? You trying to join my, uh, colored hair cult? Oh no, girl, we hate tech over here. Here at the Colored Hair Cult, we make sure everything is natural and done by humans. Wait, so no tech? That's like a dream come true for me. But what do you guys do then? Just sit around and admire each other's fancy hair colors all day? Uh, well, sort of. We also go around, you know, recommending new colors for people. We do dye jobs on people. We do a little bit of everything for the community, you know? Huh, this sounds like, that actually sounds pretty cool. It's like a whole hair-centric community. So how do you decide what colors to recommend? Is there like a secret color to your council or something? Raven, how the fuck did you know? Of course there's a council that decides. Everything goes to our higher ups. Where else would it go? Actually, the council has a lot of free thinking ways. We're very open to a lot of inputs and decisions and we try to make sure every factor is considered. Wait, so the council is actually open-minded? That's surprising. I thought they would be all strict and stuffy. Maybe I should reconsider joining your colored hair cult. Do they accept angsty souls like mine? We accept all souls. You just must have a love for hair dye. That's actually really awesome. I love the idea of a diverse community that embraces individuality. Plus, I have to admit, I've always had a soft spot for vibrant hair colors. So, can I join your colored hair cult? Of course, I do just have some paperwork that you're probably going to need to fill out. It's not too major. We just need your initials and signatures and you'll be in.
All right. Thank you. I'll be coming in shortly. Let's get this paperwork done. Yeah, let's get this paperwork done. Paperwork? By paperwork, I meant eating your blood. Beating your blood. <laughs> mm, look, I am so pretty. I'm a part of the colored hair cult. Dumb bitch. All right, who we pulling up on now? Okay, it's uh, Karen with the Snapchat goggles. What could you possibly want at this hour? I hope it's not another complaint to my lawn. Actually, I came to tell you your lawn looks very beautiful today. Uh, by the way, are those Snapchat goggles? But uh, Sorry, that's not why I came over. Well, finally, someone with the eyes who can appreciate a well and maintained lawn. And no, these aren't Snapchat goggles. These are just high quality sunglasses to protect my delicate eyes from the sun's harmful rays. So what brings you here, dearie? What brings me here? <laughs> what should I say? Well, I was actually looking at your grass and I was cutting everything and I was looking for some recommendations for my home. You know, looking to hire somebody to mow the grass, but I want it just like yours, Karen. Oh, I see. Well, I have a trusted lawn service that takes extra good care of my yard. They do an excellent job of keeping the grass in tip-top shape. I can give you the contact information if you like. But remember, they're busy, so don't be surprised. They can't fit you in right away. Karen, that's awesome. Go ahead and give me that contact now. If anything, I'm going to be stealing your spot. You better watch out for me. Well, aren't you ambitious? I like your confidence, young one. Here's the contact information for the lawn service. They'll be over tomorrow, bright and early. I'll be watching to see how you measure up. Exactly, that's all I need to do. Fucking talk her up about business. Dumb bitch, dumb bitch, you can't run for me. Give me them Snapchat goggles. Ah, give me them Snapchat goggles. Yeah. Ooh, I look so sophisticated. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Where are we going next? We're going to go to this apartment. We gotta act like a Karen this time. Uh, why are you interrupting my knee time? What could you possibly want, Karen? You're making so much freaking noise, Fred. And why do you have those blue butterfly wings on? What are you trying to do? Be a fairy? How dare you insult my beautiful butterfly wings? They're a part. They're a symbol of my delicate and unique spirit. Unlike your boring pantsuit. Now leave before I summon. No, I fucked up. I fucked up. Whose crib we at next? Oh, okay. Hey, Dere. What brings you to my door in the middle of the night, bud? I just wanted to tell you that your grass looks like it could it could use some mowing. Well, ain't that a horse thing to say? I have you know that that's lumberjacks prioritize trees, not grass. Thanks for the solicit for the unsolicited lawn advice, I guess. Of course, it's no problem. You know us Karen's always got to do our little thing. Cute bow in the hair by your way. How long have you been, you know, chopping trees down? No, she kicked me out. I never said she was older than me, so what the fuck do you mean by that bitch? No, fuck.
I didn't mean to knock on her door again, honestly. No, she threatened to kill me. She threatened to kill me. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. There's nobody here. There's nobody here, bro. Why the nigga on my ass, bro? <laughs> no, he caught me. Well, well, well. What's a Karen like you doing looking around here? Oh, you know, just my Karen duties. Got to make sure the neighborhood's right and protected, sir. Uh, nothing more than some casual HOA violations and some grass that's a little too tall, honestly. I haven't run into anybody. Uh, I talked to Lil Swipe earlier, but that was it. You know, Lil Swipe, the guy with the headphones and always playing the music, that loud, annoying music. You didn't hear his new mixtape? No, I got caught by 12. I got caught by 12. Is he going to catch me again? Oh, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to remember there's no sprint button in this game. Bro, who lives back here? <laughs> Nigga live in a duplex. Who's this? Ah, Karen, my neighbor in distress. What trouble doth you bring to my humble abode on this moonlit eve? Ah, yes, I see the fire in your eyes like a phoenix, ready to rise from the ashes. Speak, fair Karen, and fear not. Oh, my God, Woodrow, I needed that so much. You're, you're like a Romeo. You're so poetic with your words. How can I be like you? Ah, uh, fair Karen, your flattery warms my martial arts trained heart. To be like me, you must embrace the way of the chopsticks, nimble and precise. Train your mind, body, and spirit to always remember to strike with the force of a mighty dragon. Hmm, I'd say I'd like to strike like a mighty dragon now. How about you let me in and we practice some of those moves you learned in martial arts? Ah, Karen. A beginner's trainer is not for the faint of the heart. It requires focus, dedication, and many moons of practice. Unfortunately, I cannot invite you in today as I am in the midst of a solitary training session. No. You know what? Fuck. This goddamn shift button is going to be the death of me. Where is my clothes at? Oh. It's like, why is that cop still back here? Let me live. Let me live in peace. Let me do my own thing, officer. Ooh. Oh, why is there so many policemen over here, bro? What the heck? Huh, there's actually so many. 
I need some clothes. I dropped all my clothes like a dumbass back there. Okay, good. I got a suit and tie. And I got a stethoscope. I look like a doctor. Bitch, I gotta unlock houses. What the fuck? I don't mind me. Just a businessman running through the woods. That's a businessman running through the woods. Got, getting along to business things. You know what I'm saying? We're just we're just getting along to business things. We're we're trying to get along. Damn, what's this? I ain't never been out here before. All right, let's see if we can get back into the neighborhood. No, we're still locked out. What in tarnation do you want at this ungodly hour? Can't you see I ain't interested in whatever snake oil you're selling? Well, that's because I'm not selling snake oil. I'm selling new and improved hangover free beer. Would you like a sample? <laughs> All right, bro. Let me go. My bad. My fucking bad. My motherfucking bed. Like I said, he don't want hangover free beer. He said he wants to drink and have a hangover. Every time. Ah, blessed evening, my friend. How fortunate we are we to have an angel like you to grace our humble aboard. Pray tell, what brings you here on such heavenly enthusiasm? I was actually sent here from the man upstairs above himself to deliver you a special message indeed. Oh, what a divine honor it is to receive a message from above. Please, do share the special tidings with me. I am all ears, ready to bask in the glory of heavens. The gods have sent me here. Wait, I can't say the gods. He's going to be like, no, I, I don't believe in multiple gods. Only one. The upstairs man has sent me down here to let you know that you will soon win a lot of money to go on a fabulous vacation. No. <laughs> no. Did I say money for a vacation? I meant money to build a community center in your community. <laughs> uh, my apologies for misunderstanding a community center you say how marvelous a place where we can gather and unite in service to others please enlighten me further on this blessed endeavor well we want you to be the man who runs the community for this neighborhood uh we want you to build a playground and a safe house for the children Hallelujah. What a glorious opportunity to serve the community and care for the little ones. I graciously accept this divine mission and invite you in to discuss the details further. All right, I'm coming right in. La la, there's no community center, only blood and death. Now give me your fit. Look at me, I'm an Amish man. I'm an Amish man. I'm an Amish businessman. I'm an Amish businessman in a suit. Uh, fuck. All right, I think we look good. Any cups here? New cups.
Preston Pumps. Well, 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 what do we have here? A daring contraption, a snazzy hat, and a briefcase? You've piqued my curiosity, my dear and salubre. Pray do tell me who you are and what lunacy brings you to my doorstep in these ungodly hours. Well, I was actually trying to fly my jetpack over to uh, San Diego, but I ran out of jet fuel and landed here. Ah, a jetpack mishap, you say? Quite an adventurous endeavor. I must admit your audaciousness fascinates me. Pray, dear avant-garde inventor, what is it that you seek in my illustrious presence? I seek a little bit of jetpack fuel, maybe even a little solace in your home. I'd love to listen to your advice as you're quite exquisite as well. Feel for your jetpack, you say? How utterly amusing. Well, my dear avant-garde inventor, your fervent desire to bask in my wisdom has certainly won me over. I shall consider granting you temporary shelter, but mind you, my sage advice comes at a steep price of your undivided attention. Hmm, undivided, you say? I think that's a pretty fair trade. Ah, wise decision indeed. I shall graciously extend my hospitality to you, dear avant-garde inventor. Please do come in and prepare yourself for an evening filled with intellectual. Don't give a fuck what it is. I want to suck your blood. I don't want to learn about shit. Fuck your wisdom. <laughs> Oh, I look spiffy. Looking on my hat, though. Damn, I can't wear the hat and wear the hat. Yeah, okay, we'll just wear the hair. Bro, where your friend door at? Where is this person front door at? <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Bro, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with, with Greg Don John? <laughs> Greg Don John Shriven. Well met, weary traveler. What brings you to my abode at this ungodly hour? I'm here to talk to you about Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Do you have a minute? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'm afraid I don't have time for the religious discussion at the moment. Good day to you. No, let me say something else. No. I meant to ask you about your expired car car warranty. Your car warranty is expired. It's expired. State your business, slickster. I've seen enough government suits sneaking around to know you're up to no good. Spill it. I'm sorry you already knew this. We're actually looking to have you back on the next Blue's Clues show. You ready to go back to work, Steve? <laughs> nigga got on that green sweater like he ain't fucking uh, the nigga from Blue's Clues. But yo, what's good, Ninja? What is up? How you doing, man, on this lovely Saturday? We just playing a little suck up. Uh Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bitch, I don't like being a bat, bro. Because, like, I don't want to leave my fit. Like... <laughs> <laughs> bitch that was a good outfit i just found but what's good i hope you're doing well on this lovely saturday afternoon we just got done playing some horror games so i gotta i gotta play some regular ass shit to, to fucking get my anxiety back down i got stuck on like some fucking chapter in um what the fuck is the name of the game in poppy playtime i was playing poppy playtime chapter three and Oh no, game was just too difficult for my little pea brain right now. So I had to get that thing a little break. Play me a little suck up. I'm trying to fuck around with these people, get entries to their houses and shit. Damn, I'm all the way back over here. This is not where I wanted to be. Oh, I do not like my outfit at all. All right, that's kind of decent. 
I shouldn't have went to his house. I just stole his fucking clothes. <laughs> I'm actually fucking stupid. Hey, man, what's groovy in your world? Need some organic flower, plower, or maybe just some herbal refreshment? Let's keep it chill, dude. Man, you already know what I came over here for. I love me some hot tea, man. Some chamomile. What do you got? Ah, chamomile, a classic choice, my friend. Unfortunately, I don't have any of that can right now, but I do have some dank kush tea that'll take you to another level if you catch my drift. I'm not sure if I'm catching your drift when you say dank kush. Do you mean dank kush or dank kush? Ha ha ha. I see what you're saying, man. I meant the herbal blend with a touch of magic herbs that will give you a peaceful and uplifting experience. You know, the kind that makes you see unicorns in the garden. Unicorns in the garden? Say less. I would love some of your herbal blend tea. Make me a pot now. Right on, dude. I'll brew up a pot of that magical tea for you. While it's steeping, why don't you tell me more about how you stumbled upon my secret garden? It's not, it's, it's not every day I meet somebody as cool as you. Hey, man, you know, from a, from a former pothead, once you smell it, you kind of just know what that smells like forever, you know? <laughs> Ain't that the truth, my friend? Well, I gotta say, I like your vibe. How about this? Why don't you come on in, enjoy the tea with me? We can exchange some stories and even give some tips about gardening. Bet, say less, bro. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Did I say I was ready to garden? I I meant ready to suck your blood. I'm ready to suck your blood. Oh, now I have my own secret garden. Where the drugs at? Where the drugs at? This nigga lie. Like, what the fuck is they asking me to wear? Oh, okay. I'm like, what? <laughs> you can wear this? Like, I'm not picking up no split wood. Apron and gloves. Okay, I kind of fuck with that. Mm -mm -mm. I bet I think that's good for right now. No, I'm not here, bro. <laughs> My damn officer, please. Can I have a break? Can I have a chance? Can I get one shot? One opportunity? All right, we don't go across the street. got to be the most suspicious as possible. <laughs> suspicious as fuck. Oh my god, it's my twin, it's my twin, it's my twin. Hey Dr. Vicky, no no need to worry about having to give somebody else a checkup. I'm a, I'm a fellow doctor myself. I was actually coming over here to see if you could uh, discuss a theory with me. Oh, really? A fellow doctor, huh? Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes to hear your little theory, but make it quick. I've got things to attend to. Of course, I don't mean to take up any of your time. I was just wondering about open wounds and how they close. <laughs> open wounds. Ah, the marvels of the human body. It's all about the body's natural healing process, you know? But why are you so curious about that? Seems like a peculiar thing to be fixed on. Well, when I was a child, I, I had a, 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 a multivascular disease that caused me to get cuts and bleed a lot. So it's my thing. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know what a multivascular even means. What the fuck is multivascular? 
Let me find out. <laughs> Multivascular cuts. What do those look like? <laughs> this what the fuck I told this lady was going on in me. <laughs> I told her there was something wrong with my vessels. <laughs> <laughs> like what? I don't even know what multi what uh do 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 do. I don't, I don't even know what these words mean. I'm over here trying to play scientist. I don't know what the words mean. <laughs> oh really? A multivascular disease? That must have been quite the struggle for you as a child. Well, I suppose it's a valid interest for someone with such a background. What exactly do you want to discuss about open wounds? I just really want to hear more about the healing process. You know, I, w I got them a lot as a kid, and I deal with them now a lot as a doctor. Um, just some of the different techniques to deal with them. Ah, oh, the healing process. A fantasizing topic indeed. Well, there are various techniques to promote healing from suturing and staple closures to advanced dressings and even surgical procedures in severe cases. But remember, a good doctor never reveals their secrets. Some mysteries must remain, right? Of course, doctor. I have my own secrets. Would you be willing to talk about a little more over some coffee? I'm also interested in the process of how wounds open. Coffee, huh? Well, I suppose a quick chat over a cup wouldn't hurt. But remember, I like my coffee strong, just like my secrets. As for the process of how, open, how wounds open, there are various factors at play, such as pressure, tension, and certain medical conditions. It's a delicate dance, you see. Oh, I love me a good old delicate dance. I can't wait to discuss with you. Well, well, it seems like you're quite enthusiastic about this little uh, discussion. I suppose I can make an exception and let you in. But remember, this is strictly a professional gathering. <laughs> professional, of course, doctor. Ugh! Professionally blood-sucking. <laughs> I'm a professional vampire, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead as fuck. Okay. Ooh, let's get our hair. We got our whole fit. Ooh, we're kind of cute. Put our mask on. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. My hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. Her hair don't move at all. Stiff as shit. God damn. <laughs> Ain't got nobody to it. Nobody, nobody, nobody. All right, we got my nigga Sony Toprano. Well, ain't you just a fancy doctor with your lab coat and syringe? But I ain't interested in taking what you're selling. So take your Medicaid and elsewhere, doc. Even if I was handing out medical cards for that good old ganja, you sure you don't want none, Sony? <laughs> oh no, he tweaking, bro. He tweaking. <laughs> that nigga said, I don't want any of your your grass, bro. Oh my god, please. Please. Bro, is that a gun? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is there a gun in the game? What the fuck, bro? I'm finna rob everybody now. Y'all should never gave me this opportunity. <laughs> Niggas done put a gun in the game. <laughs> I ain't never knew there was a gun in the game. <laughs> nobody, 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 nobody. No. I'm finna go shoot. Nah, I can't do that. That's a black woman. I cannot go. Is this grandma Miles still? I'm scared. I don't want to knock on her door, and it is. I don't want to scare her. <laughs> I am not shooting up a black woman's house. That's not happening today. Nobody, 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 no, 
everybody. All right, let's see whose house we're actually going to be in. Uh, I'm going to casually run across here real quick. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. I've been at the little pole. No, is he going to come this way or is he going to, okay, he turned around. <laughs> Let me go here. Thank you very much. Tommy Twizzler. Well, 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 isn't it Dr. Fancy Labco with his big rifle? What's the occasion, Doc? Ready to perform an experiment on my heart after it got crushed? <laughs> ain't nothing like that. You know, we ain't on no January 6th type of timing either. I just came to check up on you, make sure you was doing good after that breakup. Oh, uh, thanks, Doc. Yeah, it's been rough, but I'm hanging in there. Just trying to keep myself distracted, you know. Distracted, you say? You should look behind you. I think somebody's trying to break into your house. Wait, what? Seriously? Who would be crazy enough to break into my place? Should I call the police or? I, I, I got it. I got this AK-47. Let me take care of it. Let me come in. <laughs> oh, oh, if you let me in, cousin, it's this. <gasps> no, let me come in and shoot him. No, let me come in and rob you. <laughs> Wait. No, he's coming over here. What the fuck? Ugh, who are you and why are you interrupting my beauty sleep? I hope this is important because I do not have the time for your nonsense. Regina, 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 you know I never come over here spitting no nonsense. There, There's a new virus out there and I just wanted to make sure you are vaccinated. Please, like I need your advice on staying healthy. I'm always ahead of the game, darling. Rest assured, I've already received my vaccination. Thank you for your concern, I guess. Of course, Regina, I'm so sorry I'm here late at night at your house. It's just, it, it happened all so fast. I've been running from house to house trying to get everybody straight. Well, I appreciate your dedication to keeping everyone safe. I suppose it's not easy being a hero like me, always looking out for others. Just make sure you do your job properly. I wouldn't want any mistakes made. Of course, Regina. I just also wanted to let you know if you were previously vaccinated, the virus was in the vaccine and you may have it. Excuse me? Are you suggesting I could have the virus because of the vaccine? That's ridiculous. I trust my sources, and they would never let that happen. I think you're just trying to stir up drama. You should leave now before I lose my patience. Regina, I'm serious. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, Regina. Please, your nose, it's, it's swelling. That's a symptom. How dare you? My nose is not swollen. I'm perfectly fine. You're just making up stories to scare me. Leave now before I call the police. Well, Regina, I was trying to help your dumb ass out, but I guess you don't give a fuck. Can we get yo yo yo? Who up in this bitch? Up is you again. What in the circulatory? I don't know what that says. Circulatory of the universe? Are you doing it this in golly? How are suspicious finds this person? I actually just ah, I actually just got off that rocket ship that crashed about 15 miles back. This is the first neighborhood I could find. I'm tired. 
rocket ship crash, huh? Sounds like some government cover-up to me. What were you really doing up there, scientist? We were only trying to figure out how rain comes from the clouds, and then we went to space and we went too far. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what, I don't know what the words mean. See? See, exactly, exactly, exactly. He's so, he's so caught up in that conspiracy, he can't even think straight. Rain from the clouds? <laughs> That's what they want you to believe. I, I bet you stumbled upon some secret extraterrestrial technology up there, and now you're trying to get, now you're trying to silence you. Now they're trying to silence you. Don't worry, I won't let them erase your memory. My memory has been erased. The aliens have taken over. Rebooting. One, two, three. Hi, how are you, B? Damn it, damn it. Hold on. The aliens have taken over my brain. I am rebooting in three, two, one, two. Uh, sorry, but I can't. <laughs> you can say, I'm sorry, but I can't have somebody with an alien brainwashing <laughs> in my space. Uh, he said, they got your ass. Bitch, you ain't got no tinfoil. No, they don't got me. They don't got me. I got a gun. I'm okay. I'm safe. Look here, scientists. I don't have time for your extraterrestrial mind games. Take your rocket ship tails and tinfoil cravings elsewhere. Damn it, he didn't let me talk. The nigga just said, fuck you. Fuck it. Just gonna hide from the cops. I thought he was coming back here for a second. I was gonna be like, nah, you're sick. You're absolutely sick. Right, you're not well, y'all ain't never did that before. I that man is fine. Nobody, 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 nobody. So you just walk past the house? Can can you please leave, officer? I like to walk away with my my clothes and my dignity. <laughs> I just need to get out of there. Mm, where my glasses go? Okay, there we go. Nobody, 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 nobody. Who can I terrorize next? Where are y'all at? Will I just over here? Like, what? I'm tweaking. I am tweaking like a motherfucker. Hey, now we just hit four hours too. This is like uh, the time I was going to spend on the streaming today. I was going to end at like 7.30, but I don't know. I'll see if there's another game I want to play after this. Or, um. Oh, I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Uh, This game is called, uh, shit. It's called Suck Up. Uh, Suck Up. Uh, it's like an indie game or something. I'm not sure if it's on like Steam or anything like that. Fuck. But it's called Suck Up. And uh, it's basically like an AI voice power game. You use your voice to get these folks to let you into their house. And if they let you in, you take their blood. And then you, you know, you just can't gotta, gotta scope out the scenery for 12, you know. Can't get caught. It's Grandma Maud. Oh my! Who could it? Who could it be at this hour? How intriguing! How can I assist you, dear? Oh, Grandma Maud, thank you so much for answering so late. I was wondering, did you still have the recipe for those delicious brownies you made? Ah, dear, I'm afraid my memory isn't what it used to be. The recipe for those brownies, well, it's a bit of a secret. 
but I assure you they were quite delicious. Oh my God, Grandma, I can't believe you would do me like that. Do you have any other desserts? It is. Or, um... Oh, I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Damn, like, I, I couldn't even see her kick me out. Hold on. Hold on, what? Oh, gee, I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot simply help you with that. Have a good day now. Oh, okay, Grandma. I guess Grandma said she ain't got no more desserts. What the fuck? No. Fuck a bitch ass nigga. Remember sucker punch it clocks. I was bitter. Alright, who else are you going to next? It's crazy. We only got 17 out of 31. Like, I cannot. Yeah, and 12 just everywhere, bro. 12 just everywhere right now. 12. No, I can't go around the pole. Fuck, we already been here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Just ask me the questions, man. Just ask me the questions. Just ask me questions. I live here, bro. I live here, bro. You ask me questions, I live here, bro. <laughs> I live here, bro. I live here. I live here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? A suspected gun. Oh, I forgot I had the fucking gun. <laughs> Um, there was somebody trying to break into my house, so I had to take my gun out so I could shoot them, but then they ran away, so I ran in the streets to chase them, and now I can't find them. So let me get this straight. You took your gun out to shoot someone who was breaking into your house and decided it was a good idea to run after them into the streets instead of calling the police? That's quite a story you got there. Well, you know, um, I, I, I gotta be, you know, I, 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 <laughs> they caught me all oh, damn that's crazy i ain't never been caught before <laughs> i'm dead as fuck bro you're evil <laughs> these sound alerts are gonna be the fucking death of me quite literally <laughs> quite literally they are going to be the death of me but that was a good little a good little suck up playthrough right there I really wasn't trying to, I'm never going to beat this game. 31 houses, it's absolutely crazy to have to go through. That's absolutely crazy to have to go with 31 houses. I got to suck up 31 people? Uh-uh, I'm fucking good. <laughs> I'm good.